in with my track and trace regulations uh, just off to find Giles out up wing commander how are we what's that t-shirt you got there I'm just here to represent paramountraining.com Proper chocks away. Sky wheelies. or a push. And here we have uh, Giles Fowler. About 30 knots of wind. Right, oh, floating it on. <laughs> Two, two. Should be rolling. Okay, new farm airfield. Shadow X Air, cross air, flying. Shadow and the that other thing I just said. Uh micro lights in the it's a micro light field. Yeah, that's Jazz Fowler, flight sand fowler, landing. Mind my, my wing. That's my wing. This is a Dudex solo. Never had a go on one. Thought I would. Clive Mason of CM Paramotors, good enough to lend it to me, to trust me. Yeah, that wind's dropping off here, it's been windy, windy, windy. Also, I've got a new harness. Finally, my old one was wrecked. 
the splits in the back and all the foam coming out and all sorts of stuff. So this is a Dudek Power Seat Comfort, I think it's called. I reckon it's the one that comes as standard with a, uh, a Powerjet Maverick. Clips in, clips in. Feels like I haven't been flying for some years. Nervous. Still a bit of wind. So, busy airfield. There's a plane lining up there to take off. Clive, look, look right. Okay, clear prop. A PB behind, busy. Leg strap, one, two, three, four, five, six. Trims into somewhere on these trims. Clive off on my wing. I thought we just did a forward, didn't we? Let's see what we can do with this. Come on, baby. There we go. Looks good. Hammer up. Woohoo! In the seat, Clive's wake. Okay, the pattern on this airstrip is a left hand. I don't know much about GA, uh, but basically, planes are taking off. They take off in this direction and they are circling to the left. So, do Dick Solo. I think this is a 22, I'm not sure. Nice and easy to inflate. So we're trying to stay away from that village. Mason! Look at that wing, I never see it from this angle. It's beautiful. So it's uh, eyes open for uh, traffic. But if I start whipping my head around too much, I'll edit it out. Just so I can say that I was doing it if someone says I wasn't. Okay, these, these brake handles are different than mine. There we go. Well, let's try a little turn on this thing. Yeah, it needs a lot more brake input, like a lot further travel than my wing. I think this is somewhere between like a, a beginner wing and my wing. Probably closer to mine than to a beginner, I guess. I'm not sure. But there's a bit of chop up here and it's, it's moving, but it's nice and stable. Get some wing footage. That's all you're going to get. I don't know where Clive's going. Salty Forest. Here's Giles. <laughs> Here he is, Giles! Oh yes! Plenty in the tank, sir. So yeah, uh, power seat and I haven't even put the seat extension out or done anything. So where's that? Under there somewhere. Squeeze these. Oh, missing. Why am I having missing? Did I did I just hit the kill button? I don't know. Uh, if I've got to get back, I haven't, I haven't gone anywhere because of the strength of the wind up here. Tracy Johnson's dad on his trike. I believe, I'm not sure who that is down there. But we are sharing the air with some faster vehicles. Uh, harness is nice and comfortable. A lot more padding. Uh, I'm glad the wind dropped. It, it's been it's been windy for like well a week really. Oh uh, yeah, getting rocked a little bit up here. Okay, let's let some trims out. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's the full. Uh, I assume on tip steer from now on. This has got separate tip steer toggles, like my speedster used to have. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's getting fresh. It's getting fresh up here. 
20, what am I doing into this headwind, which is pretty strong, 26 mile an hour. I haven't got a lot of fuel in, three litres. Should be an hour, let's not be up for an hour. How long have I been up? Six minutes. Wow. Car headlights on the motorway. M1, I've got a little tiny plane over there. I've got a Clive over there. Oh yeah, it's getting a bit rocky. I should come over here more often, this forest is gorgeous. And it's got a massive out in the middle of it. So there's the strip I just took off from. That's how strong it is up here. Six minutes to get from there to there. I think I might stay upwind of it. Yeah, definitely feeling the bumps up here. Not suggesting for a minute it's anything to do with the wing. It's just, it's been a strong, strong day. So the reason I'm here anyway is to set up this tent and uh, we've had to leave it so late to fly I'll have to set the tent up in the dark because you need the paramotor to set the tent up. Uh, I'm interested in the tent for fly camping so fly to somewhere, camp overnight, fly back again. Uh, I guess if you wanted to go flying when you were already set then you'd have to take your tent down. Yeah, not the smoothest night for a nice flight, but it's good to get up. I feel like I've hardly flown recently. I know, the fear starts building, do you know what I mean? And then you, then you get to the point where you, you don't go flying because of the fear. So I think kind of sometimes I feel like I feel like I have to force myself. Um, and then, you know, never ever regret it when you're in the air. So it's just stupid to put it off. Oh, Sandy, Wiltshire man, apparently you were here earlier today and I missed you. So I'm gutted about that, so here's this. Yeah! Quick little walk along the ridgeway. Well, a bit of it, to the nearest pub and back. Oh, yeah, I'm getting rocked around. I'm good to go. I'm good to land and drink a beer now, and I'm not ashamed to say it. It's not a smooth night. So coming into land, the circuit is on this side of the runway. So I'm going to descend on that side, and then I assume I've got to go over the runway to land into wind. So either I have to get inside the circuit and descend. I don't know. I can't see any other aircraft over there. Pull these trims in, see how easy that is. It's not as easy to see where you are on the trims. I guess it's alright when you get used to it. My first, I think, oh no, what did I fly? I flew that, um, the V-King. No, that, yeah, okay, that's a dudek wing, but the risers on that were completely different to anything else. They're just made of string. Good string, but string nonetheless. So I guess all you do that pilots will be looking at all this with no problem, but it just does look a lot more complicated than a than an ozone riser. I'm not sure if you fly one all the time, it's uh, no drama at all. Oh uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Woo! Okay, a little biplaney thing over there. He's entering pattern, okay. I think at about a thousand foot. Let's be good. I'll let this guy get in. Stay over here. Away from the village. I think then I'll cross the end of the runway. Go over the field behind. A low level inside the pattern. Could really do with some uh, training regarding this kind of thing. Not that we come up against it too often. Hereabouts, but... Is he going to land? I don't know if you can see him. There's a plane dead up there. Yeah, it looks like he's descending now, so I'll let him get on the ground and taxi clear. And then I'll cross. He could cross now, but I don't know if he's going to do a touch and go or, you know, wave off his approach and go round. Yeah, differences between my wing and this. My wing needs a lot less brake travel to get a result. This just needs more travel. I don't know if it's more pull, but it's definitely more distance. My hands are moving a lot more than they would with mine. Here he goes, he's on the ground. 
I don't see anyone else in approach or in pattern. I see lots of paramotors zipping around. Tracy Johnson up there. Johnson! Okay, biplane has turned. I am going to effectively enter the pattern and then lose a lot more height than they would. We are all clear. I don't see anything. Of course, it's getting harder to see. Put this uh, sea extension away. Got, what is that sock doing? Oh, it's yabba, yabba, yabba. Whoop. Okay, I'm inside the pattern, getting chucked around. The wind is straight across the runway, so. Get on the ground. Sock. Engine off. Ooh. <laughs> He's down. He's down. It's good. Lots of brakes. Turn round. Don't get wing caught on helmet. Oh, I lost control at the last minute. Down. language. Well, it's been a good day so far. Bitcoin's on a tear. Had a little flight, tried a different wing. Prefer mine. This feels a little softer. But it's just because I'm used to mine, you know. Let's see if we can tidy it up before I give it back. Like a bag of washing. Oh yeah. Yeah, still a bit spicy out here. Harness feels good and comfy. Paramount feels lighter actually. It's just the harness on it. I think it was an APCO one, I think. But it was just, you know, old. Oh, I lost a lot of oil on that flight. You know, you see in there, oil down here, loads in the bottle. Bugger all in the window. Yeah, enjoyed that, got a little flight. And then it came to the tent. This tent is for fly camping, landing, camping over, um, and then packing up and flying off again the next morning. It's not good for flyings. It's not, if you go to a fly-in in your car, then take a, like a proper tent. Um, this you can't put up until you land and if you're flying till sunset you're putting the tent up in the dark. Uh, instruction did say put it up at home and familiarise yourself, which I wish I'd done. But what follows is probably a bit of an abomination of vlogging seeing as it was dark and one camera. And uh, But there you go. Anyway, go for it. Right, I don't know what we're like for light. But let's have a look at this tent. Can't really do a review in this light, but there you go. Let me put some main beams on, on the motor. It's a bit more light. Okay, hope you can hear me. Camera's looking down here. I suppose that's good. I never do this head cam stuff. Okay, out of bag. Tuck that in there for now. Instructions. The Gin Paramount Tent Discover Freedom. It's the easiest way to make your overnight home whenever you travel with your paramotor. Designed and tested by adventurer Nicholas Berger, or Belger. 
on a 3900 kilometer Volbir from Lapland to Andalusia. It's just as useful taking a weekend trip with friends or to store your motor and glider during the day and protect it from the sun. Instructions. Because of its design, the tank can be used with different frame sizes from 130 to 150 diameter. Uh, I assume this is a 150. And erected in a short time, which is good because it's windy. Breathable mesh, etc. etc. There's some info and a photo. Fully unpack and pitch at home. Familiarise yourself. Damn it. Select a site that's level, will drain well if it rains, and protect you from wind and other elements. Damn it. Take out the tent accessories from the bag, attach the inner tent to the paramotor and use the tent pole on the other side to pitch the tent. Okay, don't really know what that means. Let's see what we've got in the bag here. One small bag. The one pole. Uh, we also have the flexi pole, which I'm going to leave in that bag for now so I don't lose. We've got a bag of pegs. This is the tent that Blaze put up on his video, his video which you can see over there somewhere. Nice pegs. Uh, and then here, we have the tent. Is that just a strap? So, let's see what we've got. This looks like the inner, and that's the outer. Okay, I need to read the instructions. I haven't got a clue what to do. Attach the inner tent to the paramotor and use the tent pole on the other side to pitch the tent. What? I'm gonna have to watch Blaze's video, I think. Attach the inner tent to the paramotor. What, what with? You had a lot more light, Blaze. I mean, if it was like that, you'd be flying. Okay, so that becomes the liner. So we'll see where I'm going now. So that's that bit. Next, we need to use the strap. This ah. goes round. Got to use the strap. Pegs first then, pegs. Oh, good luck getting them in here. Don't forget to carry a mallet. Okay, pegs in. We'll get in there. Let's pull it out of the way. Strap, what do I do with that strap? Sorry, this is just on a head cam. It's just too dark for messing around. Don't want to pull the paramount over. Don't want that falling on you in the night, do you? Okay, tent. Right, next bit, please. Back to the phone. We've got two bigger pegs in here, or one bigger peg, two bigger pegs. I'm gonna put that in there for now. Back to the phone, where's the phone? So it's kind of easy to, to work out where that goes. Yeah, I've got you. I set it up the wrong way around, don't I? The wind's blowing the fumes that way. I set it up the wrong way around. Start again. Okay, other way around. Pointy end towards the wind. Can you um, hold that end for me? Yeah. Here we go. I tell you what, it feels like what wings are made of, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, that goes in the middle. There's a seam. Things here, that strap goes through. Okay. If you want to know how to put it up, watch Blaze's video. Better get a peg on that end, don't I? That goes through all that. It's not an easy job in the wind. Oh, there's another pole got going somewhere, yeah? yeah? There. Where's that going? Out of the middle somewhere, wouldn't it? Oh, hold on. And it holds up. You that? that that pole goes right on the bottom level here in these little circles. What a f***ing palaver. And that clips on there. Clips on. 
up there. One of the guy ropes actually goes to the steel peg. So oh, that needs to be pegged to the peg. Where was that peg? There he is. Something ain't right, is it? No, it's falling over. Is that better? Well, it's, it ain't upright and it's falling over. Maybe we've gone too far at the other end. Too tight onto the inner, was it? Yeah, you got the middle bit, pulled the middle bit too tight. I think it's a great idea. I genuinely really do. Okay, we got it up and it fits one mason. Yeah, look, one, only one. Are you in? <laughs> yeah. There's not room for two. No. Well, actually, feet are clear. I think you'd be alright if you were spooning. If, if you're spooning, if you're if, good mates. You know, if, if you're spooning, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like proper yeah. keeping warm stuff, isn't it? And there is plenty of room. I mean, my wing is around there. I know you can't see shit, but my wing is around there. Boots, helmet, yada, yada, yada. What else would you be carrying? Light airbed. I've got a light airbed. I'll put that in there. Normally, I'd have a really light sleeping bag as well, but I've... This is, this is camping, not survival, so I've bought a good one. But yeah, with a bit of practice putting it up, it's good, and I'm having it. But if I were you, light, I'd... um go around Blaze's house, put it up in his garden on a nice day because that was a pain in the ass in the wind. So, I've had a few beers. I'm in my bag. There's not a lot of room in here, but it is a, uh, it is, it's a one manor, isn't it? And, uh, it, um, yeah, paramotor holds it up. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. But cool. So I would like to see uh, and it's easy to include just another strap this strap here I'd like to see another one that you can pitch down there because depending on your paramotor and its footprint and the ground that you're on this could fall over and if it fell over in the night that's a rude awakening okay that was fun new farm new farm flying good laugh nice bunch of people even the microlite people were nice so all in all pretty impressed with that tent uh, I will be getting hold of paramotorstuff.com and saying I'm not sending it back send me an invoice um, yeah I want one what would I like to see changed on it um, it needs another strap just to stop the paramotor being pulled um, into the tent this all depends on the ground and how stable the bottom of your particular frame is uh, I don't think mine's particularly unstable, but my paramotor was starting to lean on occasions. And if that landed on you in the night, that wouldn't be good. Um, what else? Oh yeah, someone else pointed out, uh, if you were flying and camping, then you are probably, possibly, wild camping. And bright orange is perhaps not the best colour. Perhaps some kind of camouflage, specifically woodland camouflage, would be, uh, would be a good idea can't comment, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, you can use a tarpaulin, roller bin bags, you know, there's cheaper ways of doing it, but this is a, a, a bit of kit made for the job, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be getting one, because I like it. Right, see you next time, whenever that may be. I'll try and sort my motor out, I don't know what that was about. I, I lost a ton of oil on one 16 minute flight. I, I just need to come up with some different method for the breather so that the oil that goes up comes down again and goes back in the engine because I'll be pouring all that back in all the time. Right, batteries are going flat on everything I've got because I was woefully unprepared and left in a hurry. I'll, uh, I'll just see you next time anything happens. Stay safe!